look at this coffee this cup is the size of my face and i just did a reel of how to make this drink if you want to see that go check it out for the sake of having it fill the top i had to put two cups of coffee in one <laughs> this is the biggest cup of coffee i've ever made in my entire life it is so good though hi hello welcome we're gonna do a sewing project together if you remember <laughs> If you remember when I did my closet organization on the last video, if you watched it, I had a pile of things that were called my to-do pile, and today's the day to do. <laughs> yeah, today is the day. Today is the day to do. Today is the day to do. To to do. Today is the day to to do. One of the things in the pile of to-dos that I had from last week is this. This is a vintage Moo Moo and I know that I would love to wear this more if I was able to modify it. This has a really long skirt. I'll insert a photo here of me wearing it in like full garb and like full, you know, I like wore it and I went and took some photos. It's missing that extra something and I love the ruffled bottom too so I don't want to lose that because I did consider just lopping the bottom off and then hemming it and just making it a shorter dress but I don't want this part to not be there because that is one of the parts I love so I thought okay well how do I keep that we're gonna turn it into a two-piece and I think it's gonna be really fun this will be my first time I think ever putting an elastic waist into something so fingers crossed I want it to be high-waisted I want this to kind of crop over top of it and then it comes up higher so that'll be fun uh, it should be pretty easy in my opinion I think famous last words but yeah that's the project today we are going to upcycle a moo and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a good time this is the epitome of the term cutting it close this is why I think a ruffle around the shirt might help keep the crop a little bit longer if it needs to be shortened due to the limited space essentially between the pocket and the zipper. I have just this spot right here to go. So I'm giving the fabric a cut. Frankly, it is very scary. Now we have our shirt. It's already cute look at how cute that is and so i do think what i'm going to have to do is give that a little hem and then add the ruffle i also have ruffles similar to this so i'm going to look for that and see if i can get that going as you can see puppy has been dropped off we can really dive into this project because he's going to be here until later in the evening so we've got all day to do this even though I don't think it'll take me more than just a couple hours. That's another reason why I just, I would love to do more complicated sewing projects, but I think I would need to take a class because I really don't know, like when I see the instructions for a big sewing pattern, my brain shuts down, I <laughs> cannot compute. I think a class would help with that. I mean, I did take some, I've already taken like a couple of little minor, like beginner sewing classes, but I think a little bit more of an advanced one would be good. And that way I can do really fun projects. I think that would be the goal. Does anybody else get like a million emails every 10 minutes? And I'm one of those avid clearer routers, so I like to keep it at a zero. Sometimes you'll see some people have like <laughs> thousands of unopened emails. I can't live like that. That kind of clutter will clutter my mind. So I have to always, um, have this thing on my phone actually this might help somebody where's my phone so we just had a package delivered so i got interrupted but what i do is on my phone i set it up to where if i do this it deletes it immediately so whenever i see a bunch pop up i just swipe really quickly and it gets rid of them and then that way my inbox is always nice and organized no email left on red <laughs> either that or i accidentally delete it because i got swipe happy there's old betty Missed you, bud. I know most people sit at tables when they sew, but I'm a weirdo. I like to sit on the floor and project. <laughs> so I just use like, I just use like a 
my foot on the floor. It's kind of strange, but I'm a, I'm a floor projector, especially when it comes to cutting fabric and all that. I just like to sit on the ground. Extension cord, buddy. What you do? What you do, Odie? Hello, Excuse, uh, hello everybody this is not a high traffic area okay so this thing needs thread I desperately need to get my nails done again <laughs> really bad okay I desperately need to get my nails done I cut it pretty close on the edge here. I'm hoping that I gave myself enough room for the elastic. The elastic's really skinny, so I'm thinking that it's gonna be fine, but it's possible it's not. Just because I was trying so bad to make sure that I kept the edge even that I kind of forgot that I have to string elastic through, so dumb me. <laughs> This is the one that I was thinking of. This looks more like this shirt. And I feel like this ruffle would be better to sew onto it. I just bumped into this and spilled coffee all over this. And if you watched my last video, you'll know I just covered it. <laughs> so I'm super bummed about it. But the good thing is that that means that we'll have an upcycling project coming up very soon. I actually wanted to cover that in some sort of faux fur or something creative, so. We're going to add length to this by pinning on some ruffles. <laughs> All of that is pen so I think what I'm going to do as you guys know whenever I project I also like to cook and it's lunchtime anytime I have an interesting thing to make I want to share it with you so I'm gonna show you how I make one of my keto friendly grilled cheese sandwiches I'm gonna do this with a rosemary butter and my rosemary is out in the garden so I'm gonna go get that and I'll be right back mm, nothing smells better than rosemary, but I love anything that smells like Christmas. <laughs> it kind of has that Christmas smell to it. Brought the mint in because I want to have a little bit of mint in my tea that I'm going to have with my lunch. And then we're just going to peel the rosemary leaves off, but we don't need to really dice them because we're just going to flavor the butter with it. We're not going to actually cut it into the food. It's just going to get essence. <laughs> essence of rosemary. While that heats up, I have keto white bread. I'm just doing this because I have been having some issues with thyroid. I think I'm gonna go get blood work done this coming week. I have all of the symptoms of thyroid issues and I just wanna get to the bottom of it. I'm really having to mentally like force myself to have motivation and it's tiring, but I gotta tell you, this Apple watch my dad gave me which I just got a new band for. I have two two little bands that came in one pack. They're like seven bucks. And the bands are so easy to switch out. Activity wise, I'm already, like my red circle's already almost closed out. I just need to do some exercise, which it's counting going up and down the stairs as exercise. But anyway, I just thought trying to minimize some things in my diet that I think upset my stomach, which tends to be carbs, bread, starches, and things like that. So. We'll see if it makes a difference if I can eat this and not get that instant feeling of bloat and like someone's trying to punch out of my stomach because that's how it feels. It feels like someone's trying to punch their way out of my stomach. It expands so much and I feel so sick. It's no way to live. So we're going to try keto bread, but you can use whatever bread you like. This actually feels really nice, so I'm hoping that it's good. I also know that a lot of people choose to go without dairy if they're feeling these types of symptoms. 
but I don't think that dairy is the culprit for me. I'm trying to narrow it down by process of elimination. I can do cheese in moderation. I can't do it a lot, but I can do it in moderation. So I went with the medium white cheddar by Tillamook. Okay, so now we're going to make our rosemary butter. And we're just going to melt the butter in the cast iron skillet with the rosemary. So just toss it all in and give it a good swirl and just let it really get in there and flavor the butter. And while that's going, I have some soup. I'm going to toss into a bowl and heat up. This is split pea. All right, so I feel like that's had about a minute to infuse with the rosemary. Now we're just gonna take the rosemary out of the butter and you can just use like a ladle or a spoon of some sort. So now that you have the rosemary removed from the butter, I just like to stick this bread, looks kind of funny. Really work the bread into the rosemary butter. This cheese is really thin, so I'm actually gonna do three slices, just, oh, four slices, I guess. And then let it cook per side. So you guys already know I like to make tea spritzers. It's my replacement drink from being non-alcoholic now. God, mint smells good, doesn't it? Just fresh herbs from the garden just smells so good. If you have a muddler, that's great. I don't have a muddler. So you just add a little bit of lubrication to the mint and the ice. And then I usually just take the back of a wooden spoon and you just wanna kind of muddle the ice with the mint together. And that just kind of mixes the mint into the ice and infuses it a little quicker, just like bartenders do when they're muddling. That situation. Mm. And then it's just my tea, my pre-made tea mixed with the mint and the honey. That tastes like summer in a glass. All right. I feel like this is probably about ready to flip. All right, we have the most perfectly golden grilled cheese with keto bread of all things. I like my bread sliced at an angle. All right, well, you know the rule. I can't make something and not at least try it to tell you if it's good or not. And since this is new bread, I'd like to report. You can tell right away that that is keto bread. It doesn't have that instant, you know how bread just has that instant, like this is bread. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. This feels like a lot lighter, if to put it that way. It tastes a lot lighter, but it's got a really nice, airy, fluffy texture to it that I really like. It's just missing that bread oomph. The same way non-alcoholic beer is missing that alcohol oomph, you know? But you just get over it. <laughs> The bread is good. I think if it, if you're if you're needing to do keto or you're trying to like just be more thoughtful about what you're eating, like I am, I'm not on any specific diet. I just make these little changes to see if it makes me feel better. Then you might like that. It's it's really actually quite good. This is one gram of fat in it. <laughs> Zero cholesterol. This needs a dipping situation. Get out of here with that. That was so good. Successful lunch. I'm gonna go eat it and I'll see you guys upstairs back to sewing project. I definitely feel less of that full feeling, which is really nice. All right, so I am just going to loosely pin. I feel like it should start from the other side. The zipper situation. The ruffle shirt is done. Look at how adorable. I would totally wear this with just jeans. It's so cute. I am aware that a lot of my clothes sometimes looks like something a doll or a child would wear, but that's kind of like where I'm at. And I don't know what it is, but I see other women my age doing it and age doesn't matter. I'm gonna go try this on. I'll be right back. I've got the dress on. I'm actually gonna pop outside and do a grand reveal. And as I show you, I'm gonna talk through what I think about the dress. So here it is. I think it actually came out pretty good. According to what my mind was envisioning for this, I don't think I ruined the dress by any means. So we're going to go ahead and thank the thrift god. Oh, 
Holy mackerel. Why does this keep happening? My house has been moving a lot lately. And it's been terrifying. See how many things I've had fall and move today? We're gonna go ahead and thank the thrift gods for this working out. And I don't think I've had a dress that I've ruined yet. Thank goodness, because I'm able to take the seam out and readjust it, so there's really no way to mess it up. There's always something you can do. But I think it came out really nice. The crop top is definitely very cropped, so I'm really glad that I added the ruffle, because otherwise, if I were to like lift up my hands too high, it would totally show my bra. So I think what I'm gonna do, even when I'm wearing it, is just wear a nice, like sports bra underneath that is okay if you see it or if it peeks out if <laughs> i'm doing any sort of rigorous activity in this outfit doubt that i will because even just lifting up like this you only only kind of see the bra just a little bit here is the back which i love the look of the back of it i hope you enjoyed this upcycle with me and a little bit of lunch if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next video bye